Hello there, everybody. This is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. So last time, we made it to Elden Province, where Zelda is headed toward next. And today, now that we cleared the way to this giant hole thing, let's go inside said hole and and take a dive. We yay. So. You want to steer your, you know, you want to steer a link towards this thing right here, this thing right there, because it's a goddess cube, right here, zing, and thus we get another goddess chest in the sky, which we will get at a later time. Now I could have gone for that treasure chest that was a, uh, that was a uh, up there, but I didn't want to because goddess, because goddess cubes are more important. Yes, they are. I'm not... Whatever. Anyway, let's see what's up here. I think... I think this is the way to go. Oh. Oh, this is just a way out. Okay. Just in case you're not prepared, you can go out there. You can go up there to get out of here, just in case you're not ready. Alright. So, there's a crack in the wall right there. Obviously, we need something to break it open. But, unfortunately, we don't have such things. And, hello. Grr, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Yeah. Yeah, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. No one's come through here, so... Maybe they went up the mountain over that away. Ah, wish someone could chase these clowns out of here. Well, fortunately, I'm the only one available, so... Might as well... Might as well do that. All right, now this, now this, this room may take you a while to figure out, but you want to go for the one, you want to go for the Boko Blintz with the horn first, and the other one I do believe is right there. Yeah, it is. So let's kick their butts. Yes. Or as Sonic would say in Sonic Adventure 2, kick their Imperial butts. Yes. That is his best line in that game. Yes. And ow, die, 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 please. Die. You can die now, please. Whoop. There we go. There we go. Woo, you took out every last one of them. Yep, I did. Yeah, I did. So, what you got for me, boy? You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing it, that's this, but us Magmas always honor our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Uh, rupees! Huh? Rupees? Is that what you're really after? I mean, it's his award and all, but really? Just rupees? It sounds like a wasted opportunity for me. I can hear you! But, and, and I don't even have any. Oh, wait, I know, I'll get, I'll get something good instead. So, hey, uh, I don't exactly have any rupees on me. Well, you suck, but I got something better! Did you say you were looking for your friend? Well, I got something that could help you reach this friend. Take these instead. And we get gloves! No, these are digging mitts. We can use them to dig through soft patches of earth, like the ones we saw earlier. With these, you should be able to get to the top of the ledge behind me. Just, just try digging into that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. It's not like I used to see things, right? That's way better than rupees. No, it's not! Nothing is better than rupees. Nothing. Ruppies. Did I just say rupees or... Uh, I don't know. Hope everything's okay. Okay. So, let's try these out. And we just put them on unexpectedly. Fortunately, these not th these digging mitts aren't equipable items, so that's pretty good. And ooh, ooh, that's something good. That's something good. Elden ore. This hard concretion sparks, uh, sparkles brightly. It also has lots of different uses. Alright. So you want to be on the lookout for those if you're treasure hunting. And did I just get rid Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can also find rupees in the ground too, so... That's something. That's a thing. So let's dig here. And go up here. Then up this ladder, because there is something good up there. I do believe. And... But something good, but something good is uh, kicking your butts, that's why. And ooh, yay, ornamental skull. Hi. 
And yes, you're gonna have to get used to that every time you boot up the game, so that sucks. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's see... I do believe you have to go through... The one on the left, I think. Because I always get confu I always get confused as to where you need to drop off in order to get something good that's here. Yeah. I always think there's like three holes and then there's like four. I don't know. It's it's really confusing the first time you do it. And it's even confusing after like the I don't know, tenth time. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my horrible remembering skills. Okay, so we got 11 rupees out of that hole, so that's pretty good. Yeah, and sometimes you won't even find anything, so digging there could be could mean a waste of time. Yeah, let's see. I think. Uh. Yeah. See. Yeah. 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 See. See. I always get confused here. I don't know whether I should go to the left, right, or middle. Or if there is even a fourth one. I have no idea. And, uh Sliding backwards. Yeah. Oh, it's in the middle. Okay. Okay. So I don't have to go down that third hole. Probably leads to the same room, though. And it just leads to some Elden War. So that's... So that's... Good, I guess. It works. So... Now let's continue... Let's actually continue moving forward. And... Hopefully get out of here. Oh, this. I hate this room. I hate this room. I really do. Uh, basically, you have all these, uh... Pirates or whatever in these holes, and they block your way. So you're gonna need some bombs in order to beat them up. And you're gonna have to roll from a distance, of course, just like we did before. So... Bang. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> Yeah, I kicked his butt. And that... Oh. Huh. Damn it, I thought that was a way... I thought I was free. Ah, damn it! <laughs> There's no way around, too. That sucks. Alright. And you know what? I have to say this right now. I particularly don't like the battle music they use for Skyward Sword. Uh, It doesn't sound all... Epic and... Junk. It just sounds all jungly and weird. It's probably one of the few songs I don't actually like, but only few. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying this right now. The soundtrack is amazing, but it's just this this battle theme I don't particularly care for. So, yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing there. Okay. So let's see. What do we got? We got rupees, that's good. That's something. And more holes. More holes, that, or more patches of earth that we can dig through. And that's 12 rupees, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm always on the lookout for money. You gotta be on the lookout for money, like I said before. And other such nonsense. And another patch of earth, and there's a wind tunnel right... Or the wind current right there, so... That's a thing. Come on. And 11 rupees. That's not bad. Alright. Take the wind tunnel up. And take this wind tunnel up. So that we can get out of here. And up through the hole. And... let's. How about you, boy? Whoa! Now there's a green one. One of your people just came charging in here. All dressed in black. That a friend of yours? See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop dead dead end. Uh, but this character danced over it. Seriously, jumping a gap like that? My draw hit the dirt. My draw hit the dirt. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, just to create a little bit of a shortcut, use this bomb right here, and you can blow up this rock. So, yeah. Again, another example of taking the long way in order to unlock the short way. Alright, let's see. Do we get money? Yes. And... no more money. Shoot. 
Alright. So let's go to that drop dead dead end thing. And what the heck? Dude. That magma lied. Okay, so that was interesting. Alright, so let's see. What do we got here? We got another Boyd statue right here. We got another Boyd statue so we can go to this guy whenever. And we got more bombs here. Now throw the bomb over... over this way. This way, this way, this way. And ah! Yeah. Okay. Throw the bomb over this way, so we won't, so we won't have another upstart like that. And you'll see a treasure chest right there. I wonder what it could be—a small treasure chest. And since this game is pretty, hey, hey, thank you. And this, since this game is like Majora's Mask, it must be a red rupee. No duh. Actually, no, it's not my, not like Majora's Mask, but. But whatever. Anyway, is there anything over here? Or some patches of earth over here, so if I find that this is a waste of time, other than that green rupee, then I'll be completely unsatisfied. Okay, it's not a total waste of time then. So I only got two rupees out of that. That sucks. Whatever, let's continue moving. Okay, ooh, fire keys. Die. They must die. Because they're bats. Alright. Jump over this and jump. Now, this is where the game starts to get kinda sort of. uh. something. What you need to do is run up the sandy hill. Run it up. Run up this thing. And kill all the Bogoblins because you'll want, you'll want to. And before you forget, take this bomb right here and throw it over there so you can create yet another shortcut gee it's like I'm it's like this game wants wants you to take the long way no I'm not I'm not saying that again no and as you can see here this leads to more bugs more volcanic ladybugs so let's get them and the bug net face through the wall for whatever reason and there we got three. Awesome. And as you can see, this leads to choo choos. No. Let's see this leads to the way where we got that first goddess cube. So that's something. Anyway, now let's actually head back and go the correct way the game the game wants us to go. Yeah. God, Link's on He sounds bad. Sounds really mad. I don't know. I have no idea. So anyway, up the hills and ugh, ugh, watch out for those things. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. If you try going up that, the vocal blend will hurt you with rocks. So use your slingshot in order to stun him. If I can hit him, because I, I missed horribly. Again, with the slingshot, you'll want to aim higher than usual. And, wow. Okay. The vocal blend got stunned, and then he committed suicide. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Come on. Come on, dude. Okay. Ah! There! You die, and you roll, and you roll, and you die. Thank you. And yes, I know, I'm dying. Fi, shut up. I'm dying, okay? Alright. There. Die. And... Let's see. Hearts? Yeah. And... Now for this dude. That's up here. So... Make him die. Actually, no. You don't have to stun him. You just have to roll into this thing right here. So, bang. No? Boy, I think you have to bomb the thing. I, I think you have to actually bomb the thing. So, yeah, let's try bombing that thing. 
I forgot that you can roll on thing. That you can, like, roll into, like, really big stuff, so. Yeah. Anyway, in here is something else. Because there's something else in there. There, thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? The name's Tubert. Thanks to nice to meet you. I run this little game I call the Thrill Digger. Do you like money? Do you like expl how about explosions? We'll dig up some rupees before you hit a bomb on the suspenseful game of Thrill Digger. Want to try it? Expert mode, bitches. <laughs> yeah, because there's more bombs, but it's more valuable rupees too. Okay, so this game is basically like Minesweeper. You want to hit the rupees, not the bombs. So yeah. So let's see. Go! Alright. So let's see. Alright. A rup... What the... <laughs> I have never seen that before. What the heck? <laughs> what? What was that? What? Did I just get another report? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Seriously, i never seen that before. I never knew that was there. What the heck? Ow. Okay. So, yeah. That's a thing, apparently. So, that's basically like Minesweeper, in a way. There's a grand rupee total of 20. So, I only got... Only, only in total, I paid 50 rupees, so... Yeah. Low value rupees only have a few bad spots nearby, so you can relax a little. But the higher of the value of the rupees, the more bad spots are nearby. So that could get that could be something. Should try again. How about another go? No. No. Okay. So I failed, and I lost a heart apparently. Yeah. So anyway, let's get out of here before I have any more mishaps with fail. And hurry along this mountain because this video is starting to get long. Shut up! I know. I'm dying, Fi. You can shut the freak up. Alright. So, up here. Up. Up. Yeah. I find the leap feet. I find the feature of Sanima, like, a bit. finding a bit easier in, uh. this game. I do like the added feature. Yeah! Die, 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 die. I like the I like the whole running feature and stamina feature they add in Skyward Sword. I I really like it. It makes things a lot smooth. It th makes things a lot quicker, actually. Not smoother. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Die. There you go. Roll down the hill, and you die. Ha -ha. And run it up here. Die, die, die. And ow! Ow. <sighs> yeah, I didn't catch that. So, let's actually use a potion. One really cool feature about the potions that they removed is that, well, in previous games, everything stopped just to let Link drop. Uh, let, just to let Link drink the potion. And now he can actually. And now Link can actually. Wait, what? 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 Ah. Anyway, like I was saying before, before I completely rolled off the hill, by the way. I like how they actually have you, uh. Uh, drink. Have Link drink the potion as he is. As he is moving. As he is moving, so. That's a thing makes everything more real-time-ish. I, I, I find it more real-time-ish. Alright, so up here is die. You go to die here, Boko Blins. Die. Thank you. Anyway, 
up here, and... Hello. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there was buried someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, Lead! This is the place, ain't it? So what is it they buried again? A key! K-I-Y-E- Bleh! Key! I can't spell! They busted up the key to the door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right around here. Hey, that reminds me. That strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away too. That's right! They, I bet they got something really valuable stashed in there. And that blonde girl they took is probably a part of their master plan too. I'm telling ya, I can smell the riches from here. So that's what you're saying once we do, we find all the pieces of the key? What do you think, Ignatius? Ignatius? Blah, I can't... I can't say that. Uh, we speak inside. We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry. Hey, why are you so worried about a key when we could just dig our way in? <laughs> yeah. Wait, um... Just saying. <laughs> yeah. You ain't as dumb as you look. Yeah, they can just dig our way in. Can't see why we can't just do that. Master Charlie, I, requ I require your confirmation on critical information obtained from the Mongol conversation. The oddly gobbed up uh, thing, taking deeper into the thing must be. Woman in black like that Daniel Radcliffe movie? Nah, Zelda. My calculations agree, Master. There's a 100% probability that the figure in question is indeed Zelda. Indeed, Zelda. I gotta say, indeed, like the British. Additionally, I calculate there's a 95% probability that the key to this door is made from the same material composition as the mechanism that, bar that bars it. I detect objects of the same material in the surrounding area. Ascertaining the location of these objects will aid in your search for Zelda. I registered them as doubting targets. Alright, so we gotta look for keys. Pieces of the key. However, we're going to look for them next time. So next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we are going to look for the five keys to the temple. So see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.